Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to another exciting episode of One Man in His Boat. Where have I heard that before? I can't use that. I'm just kidding. That's a little shout out to my brother Barry over in Scotland. The hardest working lobster fisherman in Scotland. So he says. Hey Barry. Love you brother. Just poking fun at you. So if you haven't visited Barry's channel, go have a look. I'll put a link up here for you. He's a great guy. Morning folks, it's another chilly day here in eastern Ontario. And uh, I put together a special video. Uh, well, it's not that special. It's me building this thing. Um, I filmed the footage, as my friend Ross says, film everything. And I did. I wasn't planning on using it, but uh, our little channel needs some help. Our stats are going up very slowly, and it's kind of still discouraging. So if you could stick with me on this one, watch it all the way through, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share us out, tell all your friends, force them to come over to your house and watch it on the big screen for hours <laughs> and hours. And we would really appreciate it. So here we go. There was no planning for this. It just came together. It's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And it actually works. So I'll go over the results at the end. Thanks again. We appreciate each and every one of you watching our videos. Here we go. I had everything I needed laying around the boat shed in the shop to uh, put this little project together. The styrofoam was left over from our uh, uh, hull linings on the main cabin where we laminated the uh, cherry veneer plywood to the foam. Watch closely, folks. There's a true genius at work here. I'm about 37.3% sure this is going to be big enough. Pretty smart, don't you think? Marking each panel where it goes, what direction is up, which direction is down, which side is in, and which side is out. Thank you. 
The only problem with having all of the dimensions in your head is you quite often end up you know, double checking yourself or second guessing yourself or trying to figure it out. Squeamish at the sight of blood, you might want to uh, fast forward right now. Haha, <laughs> fooled you. I didn't cut myself. It's remarkable because usually any project that uh, I get involved in that involves knives or spinning tools and things like that, there's usually a price to be paid, usually my blood. That's the back panel that's upright right now, and for the life of me, I couldn't remember if it sat on the bottom or the bottom butted up against it. So I tried it a couple of different ways to see which one. Was. Hey, there's a good idea. Let's write down the dimensions this time. Putts.
hope you all can handle the intense action here. If it's a little too much for you, feel free to skip ahead to the end. I think we're at the point where we're finally going to start to assemble this monster. I had a tube of polyurethane adhesive to do this, but I left it in the shed overnight and it was frozen solid. As it was, it took 20 minutes to heat up the hot glue gun. Uh, I think the outside temperature was about minus one when I was doing this. These big lead weights that uh, I bought to use as ballast in the boat sure are handy. The hot glue is just to tack the pieces together. Yeah, you'll see how I uh, finish it all up with tape on the inside and outside.
shiny side goes inside you, Muppet. I'm using an aluminum foil tape just to seal the seams and try and keep as much heat inside as I can. The HVAC guys actually call this a duct tape. Not duct tape, duct tape. I apologize for the poor camera work and my back to you on this one. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, options for better camera angles.
small heating mat that I believe is used in uh, greenhouses uh, when they want to get an early start on germinating some of their plants. This is old reliable 3M Super 77 contact cement. I tried it. In the end, it didn't really work that well. I'll try something else. Now it's time to seal up the outside seam with some duct tape. This is great stuff. I love it.
side panel is about an inch and a half shorter than the uh, top and bottom. That's for a reason you'll see later. I know this little hot box is going to get uh, probably a fair amount of abuse, so I seal up all the edges of the exposed foam with the tuck tape.
and here you'll see why the uh, top and the bottom are uh, an inch and a half or so longer than the sides. If I could only figure out which way is up, there's actually about three eighths of an inch difference on each side. So the results of my little experiment here actually work. I'll put some results up on the screen for you. This is hopefully going to allow us to get a, a real decent jump start on the epoxy and fiberglass work that has to be done in the forward cabin before we can go forward. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And ring the bell on YouTube and they'll let you know the next time we publish a video. Thanks everybody. Cheers.